Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is a Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about Geeky's favorite topic. You? No, that's okay. <laughs> I know you're being nice. Henry Cavill. We're gonna talk about Henry Not Cavill. My favorite topic. Uh, the Witcher season three, he is leaving after that. And his co-star, the actress who plays at Yennefer, is it Anya Shalatra? Is that yeah, I don't know how to say her last name, but um, Anya. Anya. That's said, a pretty name. Yeah, it is a pretty name. Uh, she said that Henry was a crucial part of the show. <laughs> You don't say. Yeah, and remember, remember the narratives that that everybody hated him. That's not what she says. That's not. That, so, oh, that's not what she says. So that's what she says. Anyway. Yeah, yeah I, I got that. So, yeah, you did. Um, yeah. So she would toss a toss a coin to her Witcher. So he's he's out the door. I don't think there is going to be a season four, given well, we've got the writer strike going on now. We've got the fact that Netflix is cutting back on shows. Yeah. And, you know, it was incredibly unpopular to announce that he was going to be replaced. Yeah, it wasn't the other actor's fault. No, it's not no. their fault that this show was stupid and got rid of Henry Cavill. Well, he quit. With, I don't even know what happened. Did he quit? He, he did yeah, renew. He, I think he, he didn't renew because yeah. he's probably taking a lot of shit. And he was like, you know what? It's not worth my time. Yeah, because he don't said. Don't harsh my mellow. <laughs> what? I don't know. Don't. Harsh my mellow. Oh, I thought you said don't punch my melons. <laughs> That's, That's what, what she said. said. That's what she said. Don't punch my melons, bro. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. You're not supposed to punch them. Oh my God. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> this is my first time. Am I doing it right? It's not. Okay. Um, anyway. <laughs> to the point. Stay to the point. We're trying. Oh, you're nothing but a melon slapper, Jimmy. All right. Um, it's not enough. Let's, let's talk about this. So Henry Cavill, yeah, he said uh, he's a huge fan of The Witcher. He is a gamer because, you know, he builds his own PCs. You know who else builds their own PCs? You. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've been building PCs since I was like 15 years old. I first PC. See, I've been doing this a long time. Uh, I was going to say, like, what what kind of PC it was, but then I'm like, no, people were. Totally okay, anyway, who that. else that you were going to bring up? Oh, was it you? It was me. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I was being a smart You know ass. I build PCs. I, I build many PCs. I thought PCs. you were going to say somebody else. Sorry. No. <laughs> I'm not talking anymore. I okay. what, you know what I don't own, though, is a wife beater. Because he was doing it. And he looked kind of yeah, like Freddie don't. Mercury when he was he was doing it. Can we get to the point? Yeah, we can get to the point here. The point is um, that his co-stars are... Uh, Con or, you know, refuting the claims that were made in this article. So if you remember back, was this like December? Yeah, December of last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. They were, there was this, this article came out and the, the claim that somebody supposedly made that, that supposedly. he was terrible to work with and the women hated him. If you go down here, you can see those claims. See, there's like, here, here's this email. Remember we talked about this? Yeah, we talked about this. I recently got this message that somebody was like, do you want to know what really went down? Yeah. And I was like, sure. So let me just read it. It says, at the beginning of the show, Henry was good to work with. A lot of unusual demands that made people feel like he wasn't really a team player. But that's not unusual for a big star. Though in TV, it truly usually doesn't happen until the second season. But in season two and three, something shifted. And he became really impossible for women to work with, which is always a big problem. But even worse here because a showrunner is a woman. So just one woman didn't like him. Because, uh, you know, he would try to overrule her and try to get changes made last minute across the board without her knowledge. I, I think this is another this is another Jenna Ortega situation where we've got ass mad writers, um, you know, furious that the stars of the shows who sign to the show because they love the character so much are actually being like, hey, this isn't this isn't what I signed up for. This isn't the character. Right. They're like going about, oh, because she, you know, being the showrunner, that she had to approve everything and he couldn't do that, which is really fucked. And the showrunner has to sign off on every detail. And female writers and directors are suddenly completely ignored on set, unable to do their jobs. Every department head was complaining. Why was, was everyone a woman? He started making comments. It wasn't a sexual thing. He wasn't grabbing anyone or being lewd, but it was a disrespectful and toxic all the same. This is this is what this this narrative that came out when when Netflix looked bad yes. and the showrunner looked bad and yes. there was a petition to get yes. you know Henry Cavill reinstated and the showrunner and writers removed. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it. I believe this is my personal opinion. Okay. This is a personal opinion based on anecdotal evidence. 
I believe that there are some really salty writers working on the show because they wanted to change the show uh, to suit themselves because that some of the writers have come out and said, hey, you know, they weren't really big fans of the games, of the books. Um, we have the uh, was it Bo DeMeo, uh, Bo DeMeo, who's the showrunner now on X-Men 97, who said that he had a bad experience working on The Witcher because they obviously didn't like the source material and they kept trying to change stuff. Now, he was, I think, involved in season one and season one was actually pretty OK. Season two was dog shit. And season three, I don't expect much for either, especially if these these guys have their way. But I think what happened was there was massive, massive backlash because there we saw uh, DeMeo take a lot of heat from from people on social media yeah. uh, because he came out and said, hey, so it's the same know. narrative all over again. Yeah. Just towards somebody else. Yeah, it's the same thing. And this, again, common thread here is Netflix writers um, who, yes, there are too many writers in the writers' room. And there are too many people who want to change everything, yeah. and yep. not say true to to canon. Um, which then we go back to the other article. And this is what some. This is what Anya had to say about him. Now they're talking about what happened from the exit from the show. All we knew were the feelings that we have when any season comes to an end. It's full of pride and love and accomplishment for what we've done. So we stayed in that moment rather than anything else. The news was, yeah, it's hard to take because he's a crucial part of the show and we all adore him. What? So we're going to miss him a lot. I wish him all the best. Wow. Wow. My God. I, I we sorry. all adore him. That's Well, wait, 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 wait. According to Fandom or whatever it was, that uh, Fandom Wire, that they secretly got a message from somebody who was telling every, all the women in the show, all the other people, just they just couldn't stand him because he was terrible and hard to work with. Yeah. Um, Netflix announced the upcoming season will be split into two volumes to keep viewers. Yeah, basically. Um, basically. I, I, I just... Um, oh, yeah. They're talking about the background of this land's history in the prequel series, Witcher Blood which Origin. Did which did terrible, didn't did it? Did terrible. I mean, this, is a, this was supposed to be Netflix's Game of Thrones. And the first season was pretty okay. It had potential. And then they shit the bed. And it's it's never gonna be it's never they gonna be. They never it. They did. They absolutely did. Um, you know, it, and and such massive potential wasted. Like they were gonna do all kinds of spinoff shows. They were gonna do, you know, Witcher content for years and years and years, and it was gonna be this massive thing. And I think Henry Cavill was like, "Yeah, I'm pumped to be part of this because I freaking love the games and the books. What the hell is this? This well, has nothing to do with." Sounds to me like they didn't listen to him. Like yeah. he was telling the showrunner and trying to make changes, and they were like, "You're toxic. You're a problem." And they wouldn't listen to him, and he was probably right. Yes, yeah, it's one of the Hemsworths. Um, yeah, the Hemsworth. That's it. Yeah, but it's not not his fault. I mean, he has absolutely nothing to do with it. But there, it's not going to go. Now, what's interesting though is they said the show has been renewed for fourth season. Here's the thing: the show, the people working on the show were like, "Hey, you really need to watch season three. It's super important that you watch season right. three. Yeah, you must watch it so we get renewed. Well, basically to keep season four going, I think. Yeah, it's renewed, but it doesn't mean it gets to stay renewed. That's Netflix well, cancels renewed shows all the time. Netflix cancels things that are in production. They canceled. They canceled for sure. They just announced for sure that Lockwood & Co. was canceled, and I'm very salty about it because it was really popular and people liked it, and it was a pretty good show. And it for sure is canceled now, and it was and people liked that one. Yeah, I, I look. Nothing is nothing is a, a sacred cow at Netflix, and if they look at this and they're because what they look at and they already you know talked about you know what determines whether or not a show gets renewed, and what it is is watch time. Um, and I think if they see that nobody's watching season three because season two was awful and they already know people know that that, uh, you know, Henry Cavill's not going to be in season four. And like, why bother getting invested mm -hmm. you know, at this point? And they might just nope out completely. And if the watch time's bad, I do not expect it to, to do, especially if they're going to replace Cavill with all the controversy. But who the hell knows? Right. I mean, Hollywood keeps making stupid decisions. Who the hell knows? And even then, when's it going to happen? Because they have a writer's strike. So, That's what, true. you know, when's it going to do force majeure and, and just get rid of it? I mean, that is I have heard that from a couple of people that it might be a case of there are shows that were greenlit that are going to get canceled because they're going to be like, well, strike happened. They canceled everything before the strike. Yep. But yeah, it was just interesting to me when I saw this, that she was like, hey, everybody loved him. He, he was great. We were really sad to see him go. We're really all disappointed in it. And then compare that to the narrative in December. 
Yeah. Uh, we're all hearing that he was a piece of shit. Oh, yeah. He, he was, was horrible Q-Anon, to the women. Oh, was, yes, yes. You know, he hated yeah. women. And he was like a, a mouth breather who, you know, dated thought he, Gina Carano like right, 15 years right. ago. And he thought he knew better than all the women on the show. Well, maybe he did. Yeah. You know, I'm just going by what I'm seeing. Um, in season two, and what probably got cut in season three, he probably did. Yeah. Um, so there we go, guys. All right, we, I think we're gonna wrap this one up. Yep. Not much more to say. Uh, don't don't uh, punch any melons. I forgot about that already. Yeah, but yes, thank you. Yeah, for I know it was a very forgettable joke. Oop. It was. Um, so we're gonna wrap it up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.